What did you see? Tell the friends. Um, oh, those stairs. Mom, why people are dangerous? Because they think peoples are dangerous. Yeah. That's right. Were you very quiet? You got to go out and see them? No, they are run away. Well, but you watched them before they ran away. Let's go get some breakfast. Okay. Good morning, everybody. So today is Saturday for us, um, so you'll see this on Sunday, and it is time for breakfast. So we have the tractor is getting worked on today, fingers crossed that works, and it's running, and we can use it. That would be phenomenal. And we have yet to see that backfield mowed, so I mean like all the way, other than like a little walking trail around. So super excited about that. and. Um, the mower, what's going on with that is they're supposed to be sending somebody to pick it up, take it back, fix it, and bring it back to us. Well, we're either going to go that route, which Charles has taught him today, or he's going to see if they won't give us a deal on they had one more mower there that was a little bit bigger, um, that was a 60 inch, and he's going to see if um, they won't give us a deal on that since we're having so much trouble, and then we just swap it out and get that one. So, let's see what happens. You never know. But after some good news yesterday, I got a feeling today's going to be good news too. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> That's my hopes. And you guys, I saw those deer. That is the second morning that the deer have been just right there in the backyard. And they are so beautiful. It was a mama and her two babies. And they, I didn't get it on film, but the baby was nursing and everything. It was just so cute. So cute. It just, it's just so amazing here. But now, let's go on and do um, some oatmeal because I need to make some breakfast for my family before the people come to work on the tractor. So I'm gonna make some peanut butter chocolate oats. So I got five cups of water going to boil. I'm gonna add three cups of oats. Then I'm gonna add some peanut butter powder. Um, this is just like a fat-free way to do, add peanut butter, but you could definitely just use plain old peanut butter. And I'm gonna add some cacao powder, um, but you could just use cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. This does not have any kind of sugar or anything in it. And some <laughs> brown sugar and a little bit of vanilla. And that's what I'm gonna make the oats with. And then I'm gonna top it with some bananas and probably a little bit of drizzle of peanut butter on top of that. eat some breakfast real quick and then we'll see you in just a few minutes yeah. all right ash will taste the oatmeal today tell us how it is we've gotten everybody doing it's hot it's good wonderful we love this chocolate peanut butter chocolate peanut butter so she's gonna eat outside with the chickens <laughs> because they heard wanting to jump out so bad they're getting Chicken. so big <laughs> oh they're getting wild Oh, those two are fighting. Well, they're all getting a little bit fighty. 
Where are we going this morning? So today it is 10 30 we're just now getting to breakfast so everything will be just kind of later and so that's why everybody it was hurry take the chickens out or we would all sit down except for charles because the guy got here to fix the tractor but i was busy trying to do some cleaning this morning before i got cleaned up and started the day so it's saturday morning you guys this is how it goes so everybody's gonna eat here there everywhere they're all in the middle of stuff kate just got back and she showed you guys she got the cats put up so that we know they're in their carriers until they're done working on the tractor so we know they're safe. Um, that we need to, to let them out a little bit too. We're just nervous to let them out yet. Make sure that they come back home and that they know how to get home because um, we just want to make sure that they're good and safe. So a lot I'm sure is going to be happening today. <laughs> okay so small problem with dinner tonight. We were gonna do chicken enchiladas and then beans and rice. Instead though, we're gonna do bean enchiladas <laughs> and I'm gonna get this started. It's in my freezer here. I thought I had some ground turkey, I mean ground chicken. And I don't, I have some ground pork. So I'll substitute that out for the chicken wraps on Friday and be just be pork wraps instead of chicken wraps, chicken lettuce wraps. And I'm just gonna do bean. Um, enchiladas tonight for dinner. So like I said, I'm just gonna put these in a pot, soak them until dinner time. It's 11 o'clock now, about five o'clock. I'll probably start uh, cooking them and stuff like that. And we'll eat probably six or seven tonight. So just thought I'd tell you the change. So Theo's grandparents came. They like to come see him. And so the reason that they have to stay back in a way, um, mainly is because they keep one of their grandsons, they babysit him, and he is on oxygen, and um, he was born way premature, and he has a lot of health issues. So they are very cautious, but it's killing them to not just squeeze up Theo, because they used to come see him every Sunday, um, and they bring him diapers and juice, and. They, you know, just adore him, but they, uh, they cannot, um, you know, squeeze him up or be by him for safety of the other grandchild. So, they're seeing the chickens and stuff for the first time. It's the first they've been out here. <laughs> so cute. I just thought I'd let you see that because some of you do ask if his, you know, other grandparents or anybody has anything to do with him on his dad's family since his dad doesn't. And um, yes, the grandparents are very involved. So Charles just came up and... Tractor is fully functional. Woo, 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 I told y'all, 100 bucks is it. Told you, told you. It's a good yep. day today, it's gonna be not, good. Not only is it fully functional, but he gave it a full once over to check out everything with it. And he actually was a little on the jealous side because for its age, it's in such great great shape. Like new distributor, well, new starter, whole nine yards. Really? Just some fuel adjustments on it? That was it. Ah, so You guys! That so and are I, you gonna use well, it today? That and I had to buy a battery or a battery charger for it. So, you know, there's like forty bucks in a battery charger. So we've spent well, realistically like, okay. sorry, I washed my hands. Um, That's not bad at all. So we spent a little less than two hundred and fifty dollars in total. Actually, not even. What did we spend? Probably about two hundred dollars in total. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they said he was only going to charge him 60 but it's a friend, so Charles was like, eh, just, well, well, he got other work to do, so. Yeah, yeah. Put that 40 towards that. I still need to change out the uh, struts on the back of your car, which he said mm -hmm. he'd be more than happy to do. I just got to go to Rock Auto and order the parts, so. And then my car's. And then your car's go. perfectly normal. So, yeah. yay, you guys. Are you going to do it today? I will do it did today. Did he show you how to drive it? Yes, he did. He gave me the full explanation on it, since it's a little bit different. And so I will it's go a out stick and practice. shift, right? It is a stick shift. So you can practice before yeah. I, I come. I have not in. driven a stick shift since I was probably 20 years old, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I did when I was a kid. That My friend tried to teach me how to drive her stick shift. She well, said, get out, you're going to break my car. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> do it again. So that's the thing. The tractor, as I'm learning... The tractor is not like a normal stick shift. You don't just shift it into gear as you move. You actually stop it, change the gear, and then go again. Yeah. So. So cool, it's working. I yeah. told you guys, fabulous day it's gonna yep. be. I gotta get some hydraulic fluid for it. Now we gotta get the mower working. I'm gonna go back and work on the mower here in just a second, but I thought I'd come down and grab a quick bite since I haven't had breakfast Yay. yet today. He didn't get any oatmeal. I grab a peanut Yay. butter, it's all good. Alright, we'll see you guys in a bit. More to come. Oh, thank you very much. Go. Letting the cats go. You're on your own film. Hey, I wanna ride it. Honey, I'm not gonna let anybody ride it right now, buddy. You gotta let daddy learn how to drive it good first. Then he can take you on a ride. This will be our new car. <laughs> what do you think? This will be the new car. Up oh, here it goes. Maybe. There it goes! Woo! Look at Paul go, he's a farmer! Back here, Theo. So do you feel like a farmer? I suppose I do. <laughs> that is so cool. So why are you stopping? Well. I'm gonna make some lunch. No, that's good. No, I'm stopping because when I was down that end, it looked like they had storm rolling in this direction. So I was just watching to make sure. I gotta get the... Uh, this one has to get into the garage, kind of back, or the barn, kind of back in and then off to the side. So I'll have to get the zero turn out of the way. So. Very cool. I have to practice my You have new skills. toys. It does bog down quite a bit. There is a lot of, uh, there's a lot out there. It's going to take a little while. So I'm just got to mow it high and then come back. Uh, come here, baby. That's probably hot. Yeah. Yep. A little bit, buddy. So now we're going to make this Thai peanut noodle salad. It's as easy as making some noodles, throwing together a sauce, and cutting up some veggies. And if anybody didn't know any of the Asian food <laughs> or Mexican food, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite foods. So today is a win-win for me. It says it's Asian lunch and Mexican dinner. So perfect. 
but let's go on and start this. I'm gonna start with just some soba noodles. All right, so I have the water boiling. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make more light for you guys. Don't have the best lighting in this kitchen for filming, but we'll work on that. So I have some different soba noodles. These, um, I have these noodles here. Now these I've just gotten either online. These are udon noodles, so they're like a thicker. So I probably won't use those, I'll put those up. I'll use these soba noodles, probably all three of them. They are a buckwheat noodle. But then I also have these over here, which are salmon noodles. And again, just another, they're Japanese noodle. I get these on Amazon, but now I live right by Jungle Gyms. I can't wait to take you guys there. That is gonna happen soon, I promise. But I'm gonna go on and just make these soba noodles, like I said. I think I'll just start with that. I'm gonna make all three packs of these and then we will make the sauce real quick and cut up the veggies while this is working. While this is boiling, <laughs> not working. Okay, I have this peeler here and this is what I use to make, uh, you know, when I'm doing sushi or anything like that. And it just cuts the carrots into strips so easy. You guys can see just like poof. Just you gotta pull it sometimes. Here are the veggies that we're gonna add. Carrots, some peppers, purple cabbage, edamame, and some green onion. So colorful, so pretty. We're gonna add that to a bowl. And we're gonna add all of our veggies to the bowl. Just gonna kinda toss that all together. Next, we're gonna make the peanut sauce that goes with it. I'm using some of this peanut butter. It is just peanuts. All that's in here is just peanuts and that's it. I think salt might be in it. Just gonna add some peanut butter, about three-fourths of a cup. Then we're gonna add four tablespoons Three to four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of sesame oil, then we're gonna add some garlic, crushed red pepper, and some ginger, the juice of half a lime, I'll just mix this up,
And then we're gonna top this with some crushed peanuts and fresh cilantro. That's lunch. Okay, so lunch is over and it was a bust. As much as it sounded so good, the taste was just eh. Some of you might really like it. We felt like it was just not that fabulous, right? Yeah, I mean, I didn't mind it. I'm not a big fan of some of the ingredients in it, but I thought the flavor was good. For me, it was way too fatty. So after a few bites, it was like, okay, I'm gonna get sick. I can't, it's too much fat for me. And you guys can see, so all the kids are doing critter chores now. And our neighborhood cat, I told you our adopted cat is on the back back here. Brownie dropped a frog trying to clean the cage and was like, hey, I dropped one. So I'd go catch a frog. And I'm about to say something I've been needing to say for a long, long time. I'm getting ready to go mow. <laughs> he is, and he's working on getting things situated with the tractor. All kids are on critter duty. Ronnie is changing frog tanks. Kate's helping with chickens. Theo, of course, I had to make him a green smoothie because he's on a green smoothie kick. So he's hiding drinking his green smoothie. He wants out of here. Now we're out front, Brick is chicken sitting. Right? Yeah. Who got the cats? Ash, I think. Ash is changing cat litter box. So, yeah. I'm not going back to the barn right now though because I got Luke in the house. So Luke is in the house. He's just not wanting to be outside today. We tried. We got him out to the tractor for a little bit. And he just doesn't want to be outside. But he needs to start doing some chores too so here uh told everybody not next week because we still leave the house but then the following week we'll start everybody is gonna have chores from charles down to theo <laughs> everybody's gonna have chores and help out um i think i'm just gonna have people draw chores for the day throw them back in the bucket when they're done i'll just have chores made out that's how i used to do it and everybody can just draw whatever chore it is they won't they end up with and everybody draws chores until they're done and that's i think how we're just gonna have to work it oh, those chickens are so cute Now I'm going to go on and start dinner. I just finished the beans. I did not show you guys how to make them. I'm going to mash them up real quick because I've shown it so many times. So I will link a video down below and you guys can just watch one of them um, if you haven't seen yet. But I do highly recommend it. Making our own beans is so amazing. It tastes so much better than that canned stuff you get at the store. I just, I can't even express how much better it tastes. So I'm just gonna blend this up real quick. Okay, then I'm just gonna assemble them. I'm gonna start with a little bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom. Alright guys, 
Well, the tractor's put away. Hopefully that was humorous to some of you. Uh, that is the first time I have ever backed that into the barn. Uh, I'm sure it will not be the last, so very uh, slow and steady and a little jerky. Yeah, I figure I'll get it <laughs> eventually. But um, I could not be happier than I am today with um, kind of the progress that we have. I'm going to flip this around here and I'll show you guys kind of what I got done today. But I am uh, very thankful. Um, had the, uh, the guy that's doing my mechanics work for me come out. He got that tractor fixed today. Um, it's got a few quirks to it that I have to get used to. Um, but what did I learn today? I learned that when you are running an extremely old farm tractor with no gas gauge, that you should always check your gas level because I found myself stranded in the middle of a field. So, very humorous, um, but at least I thought I had enough to go get fuel before I started to mow. So, I can't complain there, but it was it was funny. I died literally in the middle of this field today. So, this is what I've gotten done. So, it is a couple different heights. Um, what you'll see is where it is a little bit darker over here is still tall. And then I went through and I cut it at a, a little bit lower height. Um, it is super thick. I don't know if the, um, the blades on the uh, bush hog need to be sharpened maybe just a little bit or if the mower just is struggling with it. Um, so I cut it a little bit high. And then down in here, I actually have gone over it a couple of times. So... Um, I, I would say probably after a good hour of running it, I found the sweet spot on the throttle that made it run uh, good and steady um, without bogging down too bad. And that's where I was kind of struggling in this front part. So, uh, again, pretty happy. I'm going to walk out here, though. This is still pretty thick. A lot of grass. I'll still continue to mow it. Um... I would say I've gotten pretty close to, I would say, half this done today, which is pretty good. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so I hope to get the rest of it done. Um, but let me flip this around, and at least... Oh, there we go. That'll give you an idea of my height difference that I was able to get done today. So I'm going to call it a night, though, and get a shower... I have to put the zero turn mower back in the garage. Tomorrow is Sunday. I think I've got a resolution to that one. But uh, you can definitely tell this is going on the end of September because it's probably about 7.30, 7.45. And I almost have no daylight. So I am super stoked to have this place when the sun is up for a little bit longer each day. So I'm gonna turn it back over to my wonderful wife. Okay, so here it is. Here is the enchiladas. And then we're also gonna do a salad. And I got some salad dressing there. Just keep it super simple. Are you getting hungry, baby? Yeah. Yeah? And more Theo picked flowers on both of my tables. Well, I picked those. I know we love flowers, don't we, baby? Paul's bringing out plates. That's right. And the sun is going down over here. What a beautiful day it was. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and call it a night. I got hungry people everywhere. We are ready for dinner. You saw the moon? Yeah. All right. And we will see all of you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Have a great night.